everyone. Welcome to Survivor Live. This season we are getting up close and personal with the castaways and we need your help to do it. So tweet us using hashtag Survivor Live and we will add you into the conversation as we go. Also be sure to stick around for the exclusive extended preview after this episode today. We have two guests right now joining us is Lindsay. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the show. Well thank you for having me. Little brawny. Yes. Okay, so you were cast as a Braun, a member of the Braun tribe. And I had a problem with that early on because I was like, I, she's not very big. <laughs> I was wait, expecting like Serena Williams to be out there. <laughs> right. And you're like, you're not very, you're tiny. No, but you do look scrappy. Yeah, well, I mean, I think everybody gets cast. And, and Jeff said before that um, we all have different elements to us that make us interesting. So it's not just one thing. Um, I own a hair salon, so all my clients are like, why aren't you on the beauty tribe? tribe and I'm like well you know when I was in school and um, even up through college I played sports and I'm a very feisty individual as we all have seen mm -hmm. so um, I think I kind of represented that uh, to its fullest extent on Survivor so I think that they did a great job of casting me as a bronze member. Okay so you were happy with your placement on the bronze tribe? Yeah I was. Except for you weren't happy with one of your castmates. Right. I mean, I think there's always going to be somebody, no matter what tribe that I was placed on, I have a very extreme personality. So I understand I'm not going to get along with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I have an extreme look. I have an extreme personality. So it's bound to clash with some people. What was it about Trish that you really couldn't handle? I mean, I don't think it was anything about her. I think it was more of a behavior issue. Um, in, in my everyday life, I'm around people who I love to be around, and I get to make people feel good about themselves. Um, I do hair for, you know, sometimes 10 hours a day, and you're giving somebody something that they can say, you know, I hope you feel better. Like, I hope this makes you, you know, your day a little bit brighter. Um, Trisha and I, we just are not each other's cups of teas. Like, um, when you, I think people have this energy, like a natural energy, and you can tell whether you're going to get along with someone. Trisha and I were like, mm, from the from, beginning. From the beginning. Um, and, you know, I bet she is a cool lady outside of Survivor. It's just, we didn't get along. So, and no hard feelings after the show with you. I think Interest. there's I think there's going to be hard feelings. Um, there's a lot of like stuff going on in the forums, like who's the bully? You know, is it Trisha? Is it Lindsay? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason, and I stand by m what I what I chose to do. Um, sometimes you, I, I I tend to. What do you wait before you keep going? What do you mean you stand by what you chose to do? Leave the game by leaving the game. I I stand by that. Really? There's a lot of people who. Um, who have their opinions of why I did what I did. Mm -hmm. um, until you walk in my shoes and until you have to go home and see your seven-year-old daughter, and a lot of people are like, well, didn't you know you were a mother before? Absolutely. But you never know when you're tired, you're hungry, you're cold. I knew that was messing with my brain. So, therefore, I needed to make a decision right then and there. Now, it wasn't some 20-second argument. We're having, you know, this argument. Well, it could last for hours. You don't know that, but it's mm -hmm. 20 seconds. People People are like, oh, I can't believe you would give up that easy, you know, um, whatever. But were you thinking about quitting before that moment and then Cliff was gone and you were just like alone and didn't have a buddy? Right. Um, a lot of people have asked me that. There's always times because you're battling the elements. There's always times where you think, oh my gosh, like what am I doing? Like what was I thinking? You get over it and you move yeah. on. Like it, th I think everybody has their whiny points. Um, you know, Know, and I do not like discomfort. I, I, I handled it. I stayed. If I if I was going to quit, I would have done it on day seven when my my toenails were falling off and my like hands were all like. Ugh, okay, so what was what was the specific reason then? Was it were you going to hit Trish? Were you going to shank her? Were you going to bash her in the head with a coconut? Like, what were you so afraid of? 
sometimes I get a little afraid like I have not been that angry towards another person since before I had my daughter when you're wild and young and free and you do stupid things like now that I'm a mom and for the last seven years I really haven't had to deal with people on those extreme levels like I've never wanted to you know kick someone's butt just for fun like she she dug and dug and dug and I think that you can even see it while we're going in like from tribal council to the camp she said I want to make some things clear at that point you have to tell yourself you're on top you're good yeah don't stir the pot because you own no the pot. it looked like she was gloating right it did it looked like she was real proud of her move and that she couldn't just she couldn't hold it in it's like Tony how he just like can't hold in his excitement for his strategic move right and, and, and that's great emotions are great that's wonderful but it, it almost reminded me of a playground fight where a group of kids uh, beat up, the, you know, one single kid, and they're on the ground. Trisha's the nerdy, skinny one in the background that walks up and then starts kicking them in the face after they're unconscious. While they're down. You know, it's like, and I told her, I said, "Chill out. Don't talk to me. I'm good. We're good. Don't, don't." And, be it, this and way. it did look like she was sort of egging you on. And then I, I felt horrible. Like I said some really um, horrible things to her to kind of pacify my anger. Like my hands were shaking. My adrenaline was pumping my heart like my heart's just pounding out of my chest like I'm I'm doing one of these you know like I'm I'm ready to because mm -hmm. I, th I think you can agree with me if you're out there long enough it depends on the person but it's it's those time frames it depends on how you are naturally but you you start to respond primitively you start to kind of I mean you're 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 kind of sitting there and eating your food and you're not sitting on chairs <laughs> you, do you see what I'm saying you're yeah freaking, uh, it definitely brings out the caveman in people it does mm -hmm. and I thought to myself this isn't me like I'm the one to help anybody out like I am so like not judgmental of anybody and well, then I'm, was there a time where okay so you feel this happening in your body you feel your fist clenching you're starting to get shaky you know your adrenaline is going up and you take a walk down the beach which is a like great strategy to go calm yourself down why then don't you just like sleep over there like be on your own and then sort of let yourself regroup and then the next morning decide okay do I want to keep playing this game do you feel like you made an emotional heat of the moment decision no I don't and this is why um, you know they there's a lot of information that you have to compile within a certain amount of time and I think that my season's been so dramatic and awesome that it's so entertaining that you have to have all of these things like fit in just like a what is it 40 48 minutes or something like that mm -hmm. um, of an episode so I you don't really see me building it but I am just raging out by myself like I'm just trying to get all of the evil out you know what I mean like just on your own on after tribal own. council before Jeff comes in right okay um and I just, I wanted to just get it all out and just flush it out of my soul. Like, okay, she's not going to get me. This is totally fine. I'm going to, well, you know, there was talk of idols and, you know, throwing challenges and doing all this. And I thought to myself, I'm not here to throw challenges every single, you know, like there were talk of it. Like, um, so did you know out. about that challenge that they were trying to throw to get rid of Cliff? Absolutely not. Which is, I mean, that's fine if that's your strategy. But to me, um, Survivor has been proven over and over again. It's about numbers we could have hated each other as long as we stuck together though in that final six we'll play the game cutthroat we mm -hmm. can do that we can now I'm not saying let's um, let's choose who we want to play with blah blah but I'm just saying numbers when so they are stick you together. saying that after the blind side of cliff you were like I have no chance in this game no I'm, I did not think that a lot of people are are saying like oh cliff you're in love with cliff like that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard I don't think you were in love with cliff I mean you you obviously have a fiance and her right and you know you like I don't think that's it but when you're out there and like you were just describing that it gets so primal and you're so raw and stripped of any comfort Cliff is I, he's awesome he was in here last week with me and I loved him he's very calm Calming. he's very centering he's very like he's just a strong man so of course you want to be around someone like that when you're feeling like you're unraveling. So okay. if you're calm, if you are attaching to Cliff as 
bringing you calm and being the one who, who you received your support from and he's gone and now you're left with seemingly no support. I can understand how that would feel like really isolating and you would feel really lonely and pretty broken. I was fine with, I mean, it was a shock. I think that the shock made my adrenaline kind of reach its... Blind sides are, it's, blind sides are brutal, right. huh? And, uh, and you know, you're watching it. Like, before I left, I would watch Survivor and be like, oh my gosh, they just got blindsided. That's crazy. You know, and like, you kind of start to get excited. When you're out there, you're just like, what? Like, what just happened? You and know? it hurts and, like, and it feels real, doesn't right. it? Well, I'm an expressive person anyway, so you just see me going, oh, oh, oh. You know? here, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You know? But, um, you know, it was I was just going to be very calm, very quiet, and then in the morning, plan of attack. See mm. what's going to happen. You know, Jeff is always throwing those um, those dips and turns and twists and whatever. Right, like, and then Jeff came out to you on the beach, and right. did he try to convince you to stay? Um, we talked for a very long period of time, and, you know, I told him my, 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 an my honest answers, and I told him, I said, you know, this is to a point where um, when you have a disagreement with someone for such a prolonged period of time where you're so isolated with that person and it's just, it's a reoccurrence over and over and over again. It's kind of like, at this point, if I see her, she's going to be on the short end of the stick. Like a lot of people are like, oh like yeah. Like you would have punched her in the face. Right. People are like, oh, <laughs> right. you know, like Boston strong, whatever. I know a lot of people from Boston. I love those people that I know that are from Boston. They don't act like that. Like you play your game and do whatever you need to do. You don't have to be the one um, to, to constantly, I mean, it was just a different game. She, she was playing her game and I respect that. I really do. But I just felt like the way she went about it, it was... It was a little crazy. Yeah. So um, the Bronze Tribe came out of me, right? The the reason why, you know, I'm on the Bronze Tribe. You know, I own a hair salon, Bronze Tribe. Um, I just thought to myself, I'm going to physically harm this skinny old lady. Like, uh -huh. that's what I thought. Okay. Like, she's just skin and bones. She's 90 pounds soaking so wet. So then that was the woman. best move for you. Absolutely. You stand behind that. Because I know there's millions of viewers who are going to think whatever they, they want to think about the situation. There was only one viewer that I had in mind, and this is the honest truth, is my seven-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, uh, blame it on your kid. That's the most ridiculous thing ever because... I tuck her in, in at night. I'm the one who does her homework. She she watches the show if I screen it first, but she's gonna go through her whole life saying, isn't your mom the one with the dreadlocks that beat up that skinny old lady on Survivor? Like, you don't want to put that on somebody. And I just didn't. Yeah, not have... I mean, I, okay, I understand. I, I hear you. Right. And then I understand why Jeff wouldn't campaign hard for you to stay because that's just, that's just too volatile of a situation. And we've seen people snap out there. Like, Brandon Hans went crazy. And right. him and Philip, who you love, right. almost went toe to toe. And he had to go, he had to remove himself from the game. So we've seen that happen before. I guess, like, it, it just we just didn't see it escalate and that was I think that's why there's so many questions right. because it didn't escalate to the point where you were like in her face and she was in your face you guys still kept your distance right. and then you took off down the beach so that was why like I had a lot of questions and I know a lot of our fans did as well so let's get them involved in the conversation oh let's okay <laughs> Griffin asks this question is for Lindsay what was your strategy going into the game um, there's a, a short little clip I think um, online but uh, I kind of refer to my strategy as popcorn. Um, it just was, at first I thought, I'm just going to blend and I'm just going to be, you know, this like little um, uh, melodic butterfly, just kind of like floating and just kind of like like the, like water. And then I thought to myself, oh no, like that you is not blend. me. <laughs> I do not blend. There is no blend. Um, and so like I would just kind of deal, we were so busy battling those natural elements, sometimes it was hard to strategize, but there there was a lot of strategizing in in our group um, and you know it was that constant social just turmoil boom 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 like what's going on? so you know I just tried to kind of go with the flow but then secure myself but at the same time a lot of times I tried to say let's have fun like mm -hmm. let's do something you know there's always gonna be that whiny moment where you're like oh I'm hungry and I want a sandwich it but your job didn't seem like too affected 
My tribe By the was elements. pretty buff. You had a pretty you know? strong tribe. I mean, you've and got... And Wu is like the most positive thank you. guy in That's the world. That's exactly right. Wu is just like... And even Cliff was like that too. Mm -hmm. um, and Sarah. Sarah was really like... Sarah comes across as really positive. Like oh hard gosh, to knock yeah. down. Oh yeah. Like kind of like incredibly gullible as well. Because Tony got to her. Well... And then she was after you. Well, I, I, I got a little mad at Sarah. I'm not going to lie. But I respect her because that badge means a lot to her. And Tony said before the game, everything about my job that, that stays at home, I'm going to play some scandalous stuff here, mm -hmm. you know? But Sarah still brought that in because that's her heart. And mm -hmm. she's good at what she does. And she talked about it a lot. And she helps a lot of people. And I respect her and Tony for their occupations. I really do. It takes a special person to do it. So I think that Tony was just such a, a good manipulative person because he knew where her heart was, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that was a great move. Tony's making awesome moves. If I was, if I was just a, a viewer, I would say probably Sarah. Uh, and, and Tony are my favorite. Okay. Yeah. And now Sarah's in a really solid spot going into the merge. Yeah. It looks yeah. like she is the swing and she's going to make the decision. Yeah. So do you do you like her moving forward? Would you like her to I win? I do. I mean, I was mad at her. Even though she it, was after you? Right. It was, it was, see, I didn't know until I watched. Wow. So was all, like, Tony like, really we, got we were her. Like PB and J. Like, I love Sarah. Um, you and Cliff and Sarah? No, just Cliff was kind of like you and the Sarah. lone wolf. Like, he would kind of come in and come come out and whatever. Cliff and it didn't really like, talk that much. That's crazy because it looked like you and Cliff were inseparable. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. Cliff like goes off on his own. Like he'll be gone for hours. That's very, you know? that's and a bad like, idea. Right, right. And then Sarah and I were like PB and J. We had so much fun. Like we, I've never laughed that hard in such a horrible situation as what I did with Sarah. Um, so I can't blame her because, you know, he took something very important to her and used it. Mm. And that's perfect survivor. Like I can't, you know, I can't blame him for it. Well, it does look like he's playing well. What did you think about him giving the clue to Jeremiah in this Hilarious. last episode? Ugh, what's yeah. wrong with Jeremiah? Why didn't he open the clue and say, hey, this is... Here's the clue that I, they just gave me. It's the same clue I've gotten before. They're trying to uh, well, mess with us. It's all it's all about, you know, what happens at that moment. And when, I mean, Tony's great at just throwing people into stuff. Like, oh, let me get that back. I'm supposed to take that back. He's great at creating rules, like re <laughs> reformulating yeah. the game. I'm like, what is he doing? That's actually really good. Like, so, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely impressed. I thought that he couldn't count to 20 with the shoes on. I really didn't. He like, comes Tony. across that yes. way, right? Like, like on that in person, front. you know, he's rubbing two green sticks together. Like I'm going to start a fire. Like they're. <laughs> Do you think that's strategy, or is that really his kind of dizzy too? And, you know, I think there's a lot um, going on with Tony, and that's what makes him perfect for TV. Because there's a little ADD, like I'm kind of all <laughs> yes. over the place. But he's actually like, if you're not with him and 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 around him constantly, he's very entertaining. You know, there's parts of me I just want to be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you just know? in small moments, small right, doses. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have a question from Larry. Larry asks, Lindsay, would you have changed your mind about quitting if Jeff would have let you switch tribes? You mm. know, absolutely not, because I think I think out of everything, that's a cop out to switch tribes just because you don't get it. No, I don't I don't like that at all. Um, and I wouldn't have done it. I think that Jeff Jeff and I spoke and he's an awesome guy. Like great and um, even as he said it was the first time anyone's ever done a selfless quit and I don't think someone like Jeff who has been doing this for how many years would say that just for ratings or just for you know something different he wasn't trying to have my back so I don't look like some like quitter it was a genuine thing I told him I need a million dollars I need it more than anybody and I'll use it for good and I know that for a fact um, but you have to look at the bigger picture. I am one of those that don't plan anything. But at the same time, you, you have to look at the longevity. Um, I just, I, in my mind, I was in that primitive state of mind. And I'm, I'm so mad at myself for, for letting someone um, get to me that, that deeply. Have you, you done know? any therapy afterwards to like work through that? Or no, I, are you doing yoga? Like, what are you doing? It's all about acceptance and, and accepting your situation. And I accepted Buddhist the situation. philosophy. Well, I, I accepted the situation I was in looked through my options and I chose the best option and that's the best option not for me but for my family um, and representing my family um, 
you know, uh, my sisters, my mom and dad, like they are like, they'll wear their buffs like to Walmart. They're mm -hmm. like, you know, they're just so amazing. So I feel like, yes, I didn't win a million dollars, but I think that we all, um, have life lessons and I think a lot of the the best ones are the hardest ones so even though I got to challenge myself I got to see how far I could go it's almost like you have to you have to realize that it's not always about money it's not always about you know um, screwing with your integrity now I know there was a lot of catty you know name calling and whatever but when it came down to it it was me doing something that I'd be really ashamed of for the rest of so my life. So if you had to boil it down to one sentence of a lesson, like a moral from this story to teach your daughter, what would it be? It would be, well, a sentence. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, there's just so many. I'm, I'm not a, sentis, a like sentence. One, like person. one moral of this story. Like okay. what's the lesson here for your daughter? All right. It takes a lot of courage to walk away from a fight. A lot. It takes even more courage to walk away from a fight that you know you're going to win. And it takes the most courage to walk away from a fight that you know you're going to win. That's going to cost you a million dollars. I'd say lesson... Lesson received, maybe. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. how has your daughter responded to this? To you going on the show and then you leaving the show in the way that you did? Well, um, you know... <sighs> I think she was really excited. I hung the moon in her eyes, and um, she's the apple of my eye, you know? So it's one of those things I don't think I could do wrong by her anyways, but when she gets older, I think she's gonna understand what all happened. And I would rather her go through life with the mom that says, you know what? You're not worth it. I'm gonna give up my chance to win a million dollars, even though it's very important to me. Like all the, pro I mean, you know, all the processes that you have to do, the flight to over get on there. the, to even just get on the show, and yeah. your family is involved in that whole process too. Oh yes, oh yes, yeah. All the forms, everything you have to fill, all the trips that you have to take, all the interviews that you, you give do. up a lot to be on the show. And I knew that. Mm -hmm. I knew that when I was making that decision. It's like I have worked for the last year to get on this, you know, and and doing all of these things. There so you really couldn't drop it. You, there was no question in your mind. You couldn't just drop it. You get to that point. God, I guess that's probably why they cast you. I'm the, the brawn tribe. So. You're the brawn tribe. <laughs> you own a hair salon, you know? <laughs> oh, Jatias. Hey, P. Uh, hey, Jatia. Hey, girl. <laughs> I have big hair, but Lindsay's is bigger. Was she scared of it? Interfering in challenges. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So <laughs> of there course, was... Jatia asked the hair question. <laughs> right. The water <laughs> challenge. Like, when I I went into the water like 40 pounds immediately like you can just tell it's oh like, my god it's drowning me like my hair's that. drowning me the whole time because it's like 40 pounds of like extra water weight like held into your hair um you know there's a lot of interesting comments on would you shave it would you ever shave your dread oh, no no for charity yes here on the show yes i would survivor live i would Let's do that. Scissors, shaving cat. <laughs> so did it ever like it weighed you down too when you were swimming? Did um, it slow you down? It definitely did. And you know, a, a, a lot of people have a lot of comments about my hair and I love it. Like all the, like the dreadlock people, like all my people, yeah. like, oh my gosh, you know, I love your hair. It's so awesome. And then there's some people like that nappy dread headed <laughs> lady, you know? So I think it's funny, like just because I have such a, an extreme look, like it's like, Oh my gosh. You like, do. You have a very distinct right. look. So You're uh, hard to miss out there. Especially with all the little cute, cutesy little beauty queens bopping around. Oh, I know. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I looked at them. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I think I made a comment. Like, they were, I'm surprised there wasn't like cheesy music. Like, they're coming off on the <laughs> boat and they're like, we're so pretty. And I'm in this awful truck, like, bouncing around and like leaves are hitting me in my face. I remember sitting on the truck and I'm like, oh, this is so surreal. This is so amazing. I feel so cool. All of a sudden, the truck, the front wheel of the tire hits a patch of cow poo and splatters no. me in the face. In my, and I'm like smiling because I'm so, like, I think I'm really like, you know, kick butt <laughs> oh at this time. So I'm like, I'm so cool. I'm going to be on TV. All of a sudden, just poop splatters all in my face, all in my teeth, in my mouth. I'm like spitting it out. I look at Cliff and he's got like poop. Like all of you, he's like, yeah, I got a little poop on there. I'm like, hey, I have poop in my teeth. Welcome to Survivor. So it brings you back down. You're like, oh, you're you know, thinking up and yeah. just kind of let Not on a pedestal out. for yeah. too long. Yeah, get off the pedestal, princess. <laughs> Did you feel any pressure to perform in the specific role that they put you in? Because they put you in a role of a brawn. Right. But if they had put you
you in a role of a beauty, maybe you would feel more pressure to, or less pressure to perform in challenges and more pressure to like, be pretty all the time. I don't know. Did that affect you at all? I think that um, if I was, if I had replaced someone from the beauty tribe, it would probably be, hey, you know, Lindsay, you know, big muscles Lindsay over here is gonna, you know, she's gonna handle all the Tasha's. I mean, Tasha's muscles are like this big, and Sarah, so they'd probably be like, all right, uh, you get Tasha's this. like, I and was like, why isn't she on the bra? She truck? is so buff. I, I mean, know. She's super smart. She's but a lot of she's people, I think, all. could just yeah. That's what I'm right? saying. Like a I mean, lot of you guys do. And you could be interchanged into whichever different tribe. All right. All right, we can take one more question and then we're wrapping it up. Okay. All right, here's our last fan question. This one is from Manny. He asks, Lindsay, who's your bet to win and why? Um, you know, I know who I, I, I would want to win. I, I think that, um, oh shoot, Tony deserves to win. And that's because he's a little snake mm -hmm. and he is spending the most effort in just trying to um, manipulate the situation to get what he needs to do to, to get it done. Mm -hmm. um, I feel I, you on that one. That's so I think that he's earned it the most. Um, someone who I think deserves it because of their heart is is definitely Sarah or Jeffra. And, and or, or Jeffra. Yeah, I mean, you know, oh, I almost like that one. one um, Sarah, just because I know she's a good person and I hope good things happen to her. And I mean, you know, I was, I you know, I'm, I hate you. Why did you say that about me, you jerk? You know what I mean? Right. Uh, but I mean, you get over it. And it's like, ugh, water under the bridge. So but. wait, is there going to be a fight between you and Trish at the reunion? Or will you be able to like... Absolutely not. Will I, you have to have bodyguards surrounding you and be restrained? No. I mean, you, you're fine. No. I, you can I, handle it. It was, it was a while ago, you know, and you, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. That's a good mantra for a survivor. You, you got to let it go. go. You know, I think she's a cool chick, um, probably outside of here, but her and I just, we don't blend and that's cool. And But um, now that you have like, you've showered, you have regular clothes, you have food when you need it, a bed to sleep in, you can control your reactions. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, I, I made the decision to leave because I didn't want to get violent. So who, who would I be then to go to a reunion and be like, come on, let's fight it out now. What I think <laughs> would be funny, and I want to pitch this to um, the, the network, I think that we should do survivor grudge matches. So like, I know Cr Trisha and I are not. So you want to go back out and play? Well, I Against I would. Trish. I would. Or you just but, left. Right. But it's all a learning process. Mm. You've, you've got to, the more you can experience it, the thicker your skin gets. And if my skin is not thick by all the forums and all of, you know, all the social media sites, I don't know what's going to do it. Because right now you could probably say anything to me. I'd be like, okay, that's cool. You know? <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. It's good that you've grown and matured. And <laughs> a little bit. You let it, you just got to let bit. it go, you know? Yeah. Well, it's been really nice talking you with you too. and getting more insight into your survivor experience. Thank you for well, sharing that with us. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys for all your great questions. Stick around. We are just going to say goodbye to Lindsay and bring Alexis in. So Yay. we'll be right back.